I have a notepad written up on my other monitor showing how much XP I would be getting from all the lamps from the arc. So I'm going to show you right now that the total amount of chimes I would get with all the sea salt when I did this would be 121,912. And keep in mind that I have 33,000 chimes already that I can spend. So it's this is like 88,000 or 89,000 chimes right here with the sea salt. So the best lamp to go with would be the huge XP lamp, which I will get 19 lamps for 1.1 mil XP. That will give me 96, and I think it would be like close to or halfway to 97 rather. I guess we can check that real quick to see how much XP it is to 97. So it's 1.5 mil, so I'd be 400k off of 97. So I think I'm going to try and get enough sea salt for 97 Slayer and end up the arc grind i guess it's not really a grind it's just me af kane and then move on to other skills and actually get 99s and other skills instead of just being lazy yeah i missed the level again but i got 109 mining this time did this on my main account now it's time to do it on the skiller so i am 103 invention i believe i can get maybe two levels if not maybe like really really close to three levels so let me just discover everything and let's see how many levels I get. The last blueprint, I think I got two levels from doing all of them. So let's just check. It is three levels. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> I am almost 107. That's pretty insane. I am like maybe an hour and a half or something until 107. Shout out to myself for helping me doing the uh, Dungeoneering Daily. Alrighty then, so here is 97. Just two more until 99, 900k until 98. It's 7.20 in the morning, I have no idea why I'm still up, but I got my pickaxe to level 12. I'm gonna get 50 mil invention XP. So I think I get a broadcast with this level. So let's just see real quick. There's 107, and I guess apparently you don't get 50 mil broadcasts with Invention. I honestly thought you did, but maybe because it's pretty close to like 120 since you need 86 mil XP. I don't know, but there's 107. I don't remember the last time I've trained the Divination the normal way. I've always just done the caches to get my Divination level up, but I want to see how quickly I can get to 95 because of the arc. So I can do Divination there, but there is a 92 halfway until that 99 honestly i don't even know why i've neglected doing divination this way it's not even that bad the only downside is just that it's not extremely afkable since i'm always like on my two accounts usually right now i'm in the lobby on my main account but the xp per hour is slow but 90 percent of the time i'm not even paying attention to my skillers screen so it's not even that bad i'm about to get a level here at any moment and then there is a 93 two more to go the only reason why I haven't trained the skill way earlier on is just because I didn't really have the money to afford it. And yes, I do transfer money from my main account to this account like I did briefly say in the last episode. People will be pissed off for that for some reason. Don't know why. But since I have a ton of money on my main account, I can you know, spare some money on this account, which I did like a week or so before double XP weekend, I'm using that money to buy some seeds. So right now about 100 magic seeds, 25 Calqua seeds. And surprisingly, I never even farmed the Calqua trees before, but on the wiki it says it takes about like a full day for them to grow. So it takes a quite a bit of time for them to uh, grow. And you know, you do get a decent amount of XP from those trees. And then the magic seeds are like eight hours or something for those to fully grow. So I could potentially do two uh, farm runs a day which would be very helpful It'd give me around like 200k farming xp a day but right now i plan to get 99 farming in maybe like two months or something you know i might miss like a day or two with tree runs if i just like forget or if my sleeping schedule is like really bad old school ge is back looks pretty nice but i did my customer support clue the first one 88k meh and then the uh, second one Okay, I don't have a pin. I guess I guess I have to get that. Okay, let's open the uh, second casket. 76k, that's that's really bad. Two clues right there. Totals out to be 164k, even though it took like 10 minutes. Oh, dude, nice cape. Shit, 
I missed the level. I thought I was recording, but apparently I wasn't. I might have misclicked or something, but 96 to layer, 1 mil to 97. That looks sick. Almost there. 85 farming already. The last farming click was just like a few days ago, so the levels are very quick still. But I want to show you how much XP you do get from these urns. It's insane. I just bought a lot of them yesterday. But 12.6k, that's almost just another magic tree so if you don't bring farming urns on your tree runs make sure you do so great xp a 94 just one more to go oh i just got the farming pets i'll inspect it in a second i'm almost done with my uh, tree run along with the pets i also got a farming level so i'm now 86 so the level's been going very quickly i'm trying my best to do the uh, two tree runs a day get a good amount of xp so let me take out the uh, pet and then also I don't even know how many pets I have right now. So I have uh, seven in total. That is pretty nice. I didn't know I had that many. I thought I had like five or six, but there is the farming pet. I don't really care for it. I'm very picky with pets and stuff, but I got it with 3.6 farming XP. So I got fairly lucky with that pet. Back to some good old divination, 95, uh, finished my goal for the, this episode since I wanted 95 so I could go train in the arc. I never did a divination there so I'm kind of curious as to how good it is and then also how AFKable it is I guess. But with my energy I got 11.4 mil. I uh, didn't know I would have gotten that much. So I'm glad that I just decided just to collect all my en energy from what was it 91 or 92 to 95 so i mean divination's like decent money i guess even though it takes a really long time to level it up but onto the arc gonna see the xp rates i guess for a little bit of time before i finish the episode i really wanted to get my 1.2 mil or so xp and slur in this video but i'm gonna have to wait until the next one whenever that video will be out i'll talk about that in a moment but I have to like wait a few days because there's like a chime limit or whatever. As you can see, I sold all my sea salt that I could and I have a 30,000 chime limit per day. I think you can increase it by buying like more uh, space or whatever, but I'm not going to bother with that. I can wait a few days. But as you can see in my stats, I am really, really close to getting this account maxed. And I think I might only upload either one more video. That final video would be getting all 799s or I might upload uh, two more videos so I'm not really sure about that it might take me maybe a month and a half or two months it really depends on a couple of skills which would be uh, farming and agility those are going to be uh, the ones that are going to take me a really long time to complete because I need about 273 mil last time I checked for silverhawk feathers a lot of money I can afford it on my main account but I don't really want to spend all that money at once so i might buy a little each time with silverhawk feathers maybe buy like a thousand each once in a while that's like 25 mil or so and then get maybe like a few hundred kxp and an agility each week not really sure i'm gonna have to buy them eventually though because that skill is gonna hold me back quite a bit with farming it's gonna take me eh, maybe towards maybe closer to like two months I hope it doesn't. I'm trying my best to do the two tree runs a day. I know I should be doing fruit tree runs as well, but I'm I'm a little bit lazy with them. I'm perfectly fine with the tree runs right now, so I, I'm going to stick with those at the moment. But maybe later down, if I really want to get more XP per day, then I'll start the fruit tree runs. So those two skills are going to take me the longest. I really want to have a smithing as my last 99, but if I can't complete it, farming before it then it's going to be my second 99 i just want one that's really easy to finish off this account so i just really hope it is smithing but if it's farming it's not really that painful because i could train in the arc it's a really slow xp per hour but yeah i could just afk that i think it's a little bit afkable i'm not really sure since i never trained in the arc with farming but expect either one or two episodes i haven't decided yet but i'm gonna wrap up the video here thank you guys for watching this skill or progress video if you enjoyed the progress in this video drop a like on the video subscribe for more runescape 3 content you can follow my twitter the link is always down below in the description and i will see you guys in the next episode peace